Well, that today, as I promised, I'm going to go up to Cascade Falls. But a quick story before I go. Remember I told you there was a bunch of uh, atmospheric rivers coming in? Well, one hit Friday night, and I walked out of my yard on Saturday morning, and I thought, uh-oh, oh, got issues. I'll show you what I mean. The drain there overflowed. That's a storm drain and it almost blew the top off it. You can see how wet it is around there, plus that other uh, box there where full flowing water like you wouldn't believe it was like a river coming through. It blasted through my yard and uh, had a river running through here. But luckily I caught it in time and uh, I called the municipality of Central Saanich and got a hold of someone right away on a Saturday they came over and saw that the drain was plugged, but they couldn't do anything that day because they haven't got a crew together. But the fella says, well, I'll help you out. So he went back to the yard, got a bunch of sandbags and uh, brought a couple guys and they did this for me. Got the water under control and the water would all run down the side of the house and uh, out onto the road. So thanks very much to Central Sandwich. And actually, this is Monday morning now, I heard them just back in, and they're coming to router out the uh, pipe that's a problem. So they're right on time. Let's head over to Cascade Falls. Hopefully there's some water there. Well, I made it up to the Mount Work parking lot. Got all ready to go for my walk. I just have to walk down the road about, you know, quarter of a kilometer in that before we go down the cut through to go to Cascade Falls. Hopefully there's some so much water down there as there was in my backyard. Put the old bear spray on this morning because it's warm out. We've had some really, really cold weather and uh, it's warmed up. It's like 11, 12 degrees out this morning. So maybe some bears might have woke up. So you never know. So I thought I'd take the bear spray since I am by myself. I'll get into that in a minute because I know I invited people to come along. I'll tell you what happened. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have someone else checking out the falls today too. Pulled over here. Okay, this is what we want to do today when you come up here. You walk down from the parking lot, you go to the left, and you go to the Timberland Trail, or Timberman Trail, and uh, now we're here, and we're going to go down to Cascade Falls down here. So it's quite an easy walk. If you haven't seen it before, we've done this walk a few times, but hopefully there's some water there today. Last time it was pretty dry, but still a beautiful walk to go on. Well, I hope you enjoy this walk. I have already. Oh, it's just beautiful out. And uh, the uh, Central Santa just showed up just when I was leaving to auger out the storm drain. So that's good. It was about 12 years ago, the same thing happened. And the water blows the top of that manhole cover off. And you got, it goes up about three feet high, this big, great big gusher. And uh, goes right into my backyard. And they were, water that time, got right up to my basement windows and was coming in over the top of the window or the bottom of the window and uh, flooded my house out. So I was quite concerned when I saw that. I couldn't believe how quickly they responded to help me. And uh, for the, them to throw the sandbags down was a real big help. So kudos to uh, Central Sandwich for helping an old guy out. 
All right, back to the walk. I'm coming to my first big hill. So uh, I'll do my talking now because I won't be able to at the top. <laughs> All right, what happened uh, to my walkers that were going to come along with me on the uh, walk to the falls was I got a couple emails that people were out of town would love to go. So we'll have to do it again at a later date, give you a bit more warning. And some of them said, I work Monday. So that took care of that. So I ended up going by myself, which was just fine. Okay, here we go. What a beautiful spot. I love the moss in here. We've got so much beauty around this area. But look at these trees here. Just spectacular. Well, this is a good sign. Uh, I'm walking parallel to the creek, but it's quite a ways away, and it sounds like it's just gushing along. So, uh, good chance we're going to see some spectacular fall action here in a few minutes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's flowing. Oh, great. All right, let's carry on. So to go to the falls, this is the trail you want to take off to the left. And this is when it gets a little bit more difficult. You are here. And I'm just going to go down here to the Cascade viewpoint. So that's as far as I'm going. And that's where it gets really quite steep. So you have to be really, really careful. The first part of the trail here, it's pretty easy. But uh, once you get down where you go down to the viewpoint, you have to be really, really careful because it does get very, very steep. Make sure you watch your footing because a fall out here would be just terrible. When you get to this fence, make sure that you're very, very careful going down here. It's very steep. doesn't hurt to hold on to the fencing. That last picture was from the top of the falls. Now we're going down so you can see the whole falls. You know, on camera, it never shows how steep this is. But uh, believe me, just take every step very easily. So it's a long way back to the car if you, you're limping.
There is a bench here that you can sit on before you wander on down the viewpoints just down there where you can see the whole falls. Yeah, it really is quite a sight. You really should come and see it for yourself. Uh, we're supposed to have two more atmospheric rivers come through here this next week. So probably by Thursday or Friday, around you know February 3rd or 4th, it, uh, <laughs> it's really gonna be gushing, but it's going pretty good right now. It's well worth having a look. All right, I gotta face this hill out of here. I'm not looking forward to it. Well, Talk to you at the top. I can't believe it, we actually got the sun coming out. Hey, I'm not gonna lie to you, that hill gets steeper every year. I'll tell you, good luck getting a picture of the falls next year. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, so I'm gonna head back to the car and walking back in the trail now. Only run across three people so far. They were in a little group and uh, we had a nice chat. So it was a nice little break for a minute. Uh, yeah, so okay. Oh, the sun's coming out. I'm warm, I mean, telling you. It's got to be about 13 degrees out now for our people in the States. That's like 56, 57 or something. And uh, <laughs> might need a shower when I get home. Well, it won't be too much farther. It's a nice, it's a, the walk takes like 30 minutes to get to the falls. And uh, so it's, a, it's not bad. It's just that last 20% of the hike where you, you know, you know, you're hiking. <laughs> Other than that, you're walking on a fire access road. It's really quite easy. As I can show you. Well, thanks very much uh, for coming along to the falls today. It's always a good walk, even when the falls is just a trickle. But you get a couple good days of rain, that's the time to come and check out the falls. So, almost back to the car. Get out there and enjoy these places. Like I said, these parks are for you. If you don't use them, it's just a waste. So get out there and enjoy these parks. Thanks once again for watching and uh, yeah, we'll walk and talk again real soon.